So I see a lot of people editing Premiere and they cut all their videos like this. Please stop doing this. This is the right way to do it. Go up here to edit and then hit keyboard shortcuts and it'll bring out all your keyboard shortcuts, right? This is what it'll look like for you. The important ones change. See X right here? We're going to bind that to add edit. So just drag add edit onto X and then get rid of it on control K. Type in ripple delete and drag that onto Z and then delete it off shift delete. Then move playhead to cursor and drag that onto A and then delete this track select forward tool off of A. That's the bare essentials that you need, but if you want the extra stuff that I use, then this is what my keyboard shortcuts look like. Now that you've set all your hotkeys up, you can go and use A to move around on the timeline instead of dragging up here or like dragging this thing. You can just press A for where you want to go. Works great. X will put a cut down now wherever your playhead is. And if you have multiple tracks, see how it only targets that bottom one? You can change this behavior by pressing the blue button over here and then pressing the blue button up here. And now it'll only affect that one. Or if you want it to affect them all, just press the blue button on all of them and then press X. And then there you go. It affects whichever tracks you have targeted over here. Now, when you're trimming, instead of doing this right here, what you want to do is you want to press Q. And it literally does that for you just all in one go. Pressing Q is the equivalent of doing this, this, this. It's so much quicker. Now, normally you'd put a cut here because you want the clip to end here. Just press X. I want the clip to start here again. So instead of doing the normal thing that you do where you go like that, just press Q. Bang. Easy. Oh, what happened to you? Now, if you want this cut to sound a little bit more seamless, you can click on it and then press Control Shift D. And it'll place a little audio transition on it called Constant Power. It'll be a bit longer for you, but what you can do to change the length of it by default is go to Edit, Preferences, Timeline, and then Audio Transition Default Duration. Just change that to five frames. It sounds a little bit more smooth. With it. Oh, what happened to you? And without. Oh, what happened to you? You can just hear it. It's really subtle, but small things make a difference. Let's say I want the clip to end here now. I just press W. That's the equivalent of doing this, doing this, and then doing that. So you can see I press W, bang, done, easy. Just thought I'd show off these keyboard shortcuts because it will help you edit so much faster.